In this section, I'm going to reveal five power words and phrases. These are words and phrases that are versatile, powerful, and effective. You can use these time and time again to get your audience or customer to lean in, take action, or make a move. The best places to use these words I'm going to show you are in ads. So think about Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Twitter ads, maybe even like Google lead ads, things along those lines. These, this is a great place to put these words because these words are going to help you get your audience to take a next step. Another place to use these words are in landing pages. So landing pages is all about getting your customer or your user to scroll, to get them to go down just a little bit more, a little bit more, and get down to your call to action. These words will help you get your audience to move. The first word I want to reveal to you is the word disrupt. Now this word has become so popular, you've probably seen it on a Facebook ad or some kind of ad online. And I want to show you an actual example before I do that, I want to show you why this word is so effective. The word disrupt creates interest and leverages curiosity. I know I've mentioned this a few times throughout the course, but curiosity is a very powerful emotion. And so the word disrupt immediately communicates this is the opposite of business as usual. So it creates that curiosity and make someone want to click through or keep scrolling. So here is an ad and the headline here in the ad says this 27 year old is disrupting a 300 billion dollar industry. So what makes this so effective is obviously the word disrupt but it's accompanied by the phrase 27 year old and 300 billion dollar industry. Now you wouldn't normally think those two things go together, but the way they've worded this, it says this 27 year old is disrupting a $300 billion industry. Now that doesn't seem like something that's easy to disrupt, especially for a young 27 year old man. But that's why this is so effective. They're, they're bringing two polarizing things, putting it together, putting the word disrupt in there, and it makes you want to click, it makes you want to click through and read what this is about and subscribe or purchase or do whatever they're wanting you to do on the other side of this ad. And that's why this word is so effective. 